game seven, it's time for our favorite segment. Little ditty about Jack and Leo. Two basketball guys doing the best that they can. Oh, what a night, guys. <laughs> oh, look how happy you guys are. Well, after... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was pretty remarkable. I mean, Leo, I mean, it's just, it's an unbelievable night. I mean, it was just a signature moment. Uh, the biggest shot in Canadian basketball history tonight. We saw it, Leo. That's right. You know, we have two games. We've been talking about it. You had the graduation game 18 years ago, and this is the generation game. Because think of how the game has changed. The impact, Jack said it, you've got all these young kids watching this, and they're going to be replaying this, looking at going out in the driveway, taking a shot. Shots like this and this team's success right now have a far bigger impact than we can imagine. You know, and this is in the World Series. It, it's getting you to the East Finals, but it's kind of like a, it's a Joe Carter kind of moment for the Toronto Raptor organization and the growth of the sport in Canada. Amazing. Guys, describe the moment when that, when it first hit the rim, bounced around, I think it bounced around four times, and the arena was waiting. Describe that moment in the building. How many times do you ever see a three-point shot bounce around like that four times? And we've all grown up not only following basketball, but all sports. And you see how they do the super slow-mo on the big defining play. And it was super slow-mo, Leo, in live action. Well, that's the amazing thing. I mean, I was sitting right, so you know, Kawhi's dribbling towards me. And from the minute he got the ball, he puts the ball in for he looks at the clock. So it's his world right now. This whole thing is slowed down. And he's looking at the clock. He knows how much time he got. he's got. He gets to the corner. He jumps backwards away from Joel Embiid. And then he jumps up, but he's got to go higher to get it over Embiid. And then that ball hits the rim. I'm going, whoa. Then it bounce, bounce, <laughs> bounce, bounce in. <laughs> and how many times have we been on the other side of that? So I'm standing there like I'm, I'm just completely speechless. Two things. Number one, he made a game-defining shot in game four over Joel Bede. That was a signature moment here today. And, you know, when you look at – you know, when you talk about great players, great players have stage presence. You know, you think of – in any sport, he had that stage presence. And then on top of that, only great ones make contested shots. He made a contested shot. Oh, yeah. That was a high was degree, ridiculous. high degree of difficulty. That was remarkable. And then, guys, this team now has to try to get it together and move on to take on a Milwaukee Bucks team that beat them three out of four times this regular season. Though we should mention that two of those losses, Kawhi did not play. How do you see this Raptors team matching up against this Bucks team that looked very impressive against Boston? I mean, I think Milwaukee was the best team in professional basketball this year. Uh, both sides of the ball, the, the record says it, the stats say it, but more importantly, my eyes and my gut say it. Uh, they were terrific. The Raptors, in my opinion, their defense has gotten to a point now when you look at them in their 12 games in the playoffs, their defense has been wonderful. It's been outstanding. The key for Toronto is this. Norm Powell, Fred Van Vliet, have got to show up in this series and play at a very high level because they've struggled in the playoffs. And if you're going to beat Milwaukee, Leo, not only do you have to be elite defensively, you got to be elite offensively, and you can't do it with six guys. They have too much depth, too much firepower. You got to not only match what they bring, you got to exceed what they bring, and it's got to be on both ends. Well, you know what, Jackal? I, I think the Raptors are an elite defensive team. They've shown that. They've had the two toughest first, uh, first and second round matchups going. Agreed. And they did a great job, and their defense was really the key. When you compare those two first round matchups, Orlando and Philadelphia to Milwaukee, yes, Milwaukee was the best team in the NBA. They did a great job doing so many things, but I really do think the matchups become more favorable. The length is different. It's not as athletic as we saw in the first two matchups. So right now, I think the Raptors are going to be more of what we are used to seeing, where more players contribute. The shooting, I think, is going to get better. And as long as the elite defense stays where it is, stays where it is, I think the Raptors are going to do great. I think they got a shot at beating Milwaukee. I, I think the tests that Toronto has been through, I think, make you better. You grow yeah. and you develop you, and you Nick come Nurse talked about and that. And I think Absolutely. sometimes when you got to go through the fire, it, develop, it develops that character. You know, we talk about all the time, sports builds character. It also reveals it. And in my opinion, 
These two series against Orlando and Philadelphia reveals a lot about Toronto's character. They're a high character, tough minded team. Uh, gentlemen, enjoy the moment. And Leo, I agree with you. The tweet you sent out, it should be National Load Management Day on Monday <laughs> across the country. <laughs> it's done. Everybody take the day off. I got a, I got a load. I got one waiting for me right now, a cold one. <laughs> the happiest man in the world to go to Milwaukee, Jack Armstrong. Roll out the barrels. <laughs> You're going to have to put me in loaded management. <laughs>